The following is Fall 2011, Math 115, Test 3, number 18 and number 19. In these two questions, we will be dealing with negative exponents. Let's see number 18. What I will do here, I will simplify first the coefficients, 18 and 54, I think. Uh, well, both of the multiple of 18. 54 is 18 times 3. So I can put uh, maybe negative 1 on the top and 3 at the bottom. Okay? Now, what happened to the x? We have two negative exponents here. What I can do is the following. If it is negative exponent on the top, I will bring it down to make it positive exponent. If it is negative exponent at the bottom, I will bring it up to make it positive exponent. Okay? Now, for the y's, only the top one has negative exponent, so I will keep the one already on the denominator, and the numerator which have negative so exponent, I will bring it down. Seems like we have the same case with uh, part c there, the, the c uh, variable there. Uh, the c cube at the bottom is positive exponent. I keep it there, and then the c square, c to the negative two, on the numerator. If I bring it down, it becomes positive exponent. Okay. Now I will go on. Let me put the negative on the next, next to the fraction there. Okay. Notice that the one third stay one third. I don't need to write that one right now, but later on you will see it's necessary because the following you see the x to the fourth over x to the fifth you have one x left at the bottom if they some of them cancel for the y y cube uh, y to the sixth i mean and for the c that will be c to the fifth now notice that if you didn't write anything on the top earlier now you have to write something and you need to write one right okay now this is for number 18. number 19 we have negative exponent and these negative exponents are inside uh, grouping symbols uh, inside the the groups that you take to the further negative exponent there so here i need to be more careful uh, i will first show you the way i personally will do it and later on i will show you another way to do it with the possible mistakes okay now here what i will do first uh, on each grouping symbol I will rewrite them in the way that I don't have negative exponent anymore. Okay, the x to the negative 2, I bring it down on the denominator. For the second group there, I have negative exponent here and here, so negative 4 stay on the top. Uh, y to the negative 3, now I drop it down to the denominator, likewise for the y. Okay, the outside uh, to the part of negative 3, I keep it there. Now. Uh, what I will do next is I will take care of that negative exponent outside. Now to get rid of this negative exponent, what I will do, I will take the reciprocal. Because negative exponent basically means the reciprocal of something. In other words, this is what will happen. The first group to the power of 4, I keep it like that. The second group to get rid of the negative exponent there on the negative 3 now becomes 3. What I do inside, I flip. Okay, now once we don't have negative exponents anymore, then I can do the distribution of the exponent onto each factor. Like for the first one, negative 2 to the power of 4 is positive 16, y cubed to the fourth is y to the 12, over or x squared to the fourth is x to the 8 times x cube cube is x to the 9 y squared cube is y to the 6 over uh, negative 4 negative cube is negative 4 cube is 64 now notice that then you will see that my 16 and negative 64 cancel this is 1 this negative well let me put this one here this is 1 and this is negative 4 okay and then for the uh, x to the 8th with x to the 9th, this becomes 1 and this becomes x. 
The y's, because both of them are on the numerator, they don't cancel. In the end, then, I will have, uh, on the top, I have x times y to the 18th. And at the bottom, I have negative 4. Let me put the negative next to the fraction and 4 down here. Okay? Now, this is for number 19. Let me show you the alternate of way of doing this. Uh, and also the the part that it may be risky and I don't really recommend it but if you can be careful enough you should be okay this y cubed to the fourth let me copy the question correctly negative 4 x to the negative 3 y to the negative 2 cubed no, to the power of negative 3 I just copy the question there now what I will do is the following I will first distribute the exponent to each one of the factor okay negative 2 to the power of 4 is positive 16 x to the power of negative 2 to the power of 4 is x to the negative 8 y cubed to the fourth is y to the 12th okay now the dangerous part is actually here a coefficient to the power of negative exponent okay that is negative 4 to the power of negative 3 why I do it this way because of the negative exponent later on this will not be negative 64 this will later on will be 1 over negative 64 now let me continue with the x and the y this is x to the 9th y to the 6th okay now uh, let me continue further as for the numbers is 16 as for the x x to the negative 8 and x to the 9th that x to the 1 or I can just write x y to the 12 and y to the 6 is uh, y to the 18 now the problem is what is negative 4 to the power of negative 3 uh, instead of doing it once I, uh, in one single step let me do it in two steps I will rewrite this as uh, 1 over negative 4 cube okay and that's 16 x y to the 18 over negative 64 right and negative 4 quantity to the power of 3 now becomes negative 64 which if I reduce that part that gives me negative at the bottom x y to the 18 okay which is the same answer with what I get earlier okay this seems to be more complicated but in each step it's easier to follow this one is more advanced now I do not encourage you to do this unless you think you can uh, be careful especially on this one here this is the one where I make mistake before and uh, I saw students also making mistake there okay now this is from fall 2011 math 115 test 3 number 18 and number 19